Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again for our time together. Please don't forget, worship our wonderful God at East Campus tonight. It's going to be a great service. We'll look forward to seeing you there. Right now, I want us to come back to a simple thought from Galatians chapter 2. After Paul says, you know, I presented my revelation of the gospel to the apostles there in Jerusalem, and he said, I just want to make sure I'm doing things right. But he said, all they ask, verse 10, is that we should continue to remember the poor, the very thing I was eager to do. Let me read you that verse. All they ask is that we should continue to remember the poor, the very thing I was eager to do. How often do we find in the book of Acts that Paul is taking gifts to the poor in the church of Jerusalem? How often do we find Paul challenging us with our giving to help the poor? How do we see the Apostle Paul following the call to the Macedonian province, the poorest province in the entire Roman Empire at that time? Paul preached the gospel to the poor. Paul said, the very thing I was eager to do. In the Philippines, we've been through hard, hard years, the 80s and the 90s. And young people, I know sometimes I sound like Lolo when I sit around and I talk to you about those hard days. But you've never lived through hard days. You, you've known good days. And I pray that the hard days, those days never come back again. Those, those days that your parents and I went lived through together, that those days never come back again. Never, in Jesus' name. But young people, never forget God. Remember the, the warning of Moses that when you prosper and you're blessed, you'll forget the God who gave you the power to get wealth. But there's the second thing I watch young prosperous Christians forgetting, the poor. When we talk to you about going down to Aroma, some people say, oh, Pastor Summerall, I can't take that. Oh, Pastor Summerall, I had no idea that people lived like that. Pastor Summerall, it's too hard for me to say, no, no, you need to go down and see it. You need to go down and help those people. You don't, you don't just send money. The Bible talks about giving yourself to the poor, not just giving money, but giving yourself to the poor. I want to challenge all of you on your birthday every year. First thing you do, at least in your birthday week, you go down and spend one morning cooking food and going out and feeding the poor. And parents, take all of your family down there. Take the young people down there. It's safe. Wear your blue shirts. They, they wear the anything shirts. They don't even know who Cathedral of Praise is. They just know the anything people. And that's a good thing. But I want to challenge you. No matter how much God blesses us, let's never get our nose up in the air. Let's not get into elitism and, and this new elitism Christianity that I find so many people getting into. Let's remember where we came from. We remember what it was like to be hungry. We remember those hard days. Let's remember the poor. Let's always be eager to help the poor. <laughs>